today. Let's check out the Jay-Z oil cooler. Okay, so we got our one Jay-Z Supra here, and um, this is where that oil cooler usually lives, just here on the side of the block, held in with the bolt, the threaded bolt that goes right through that cooler. And if you can believe it, the, the main reason most people remove it is just for accessibility. It's big and bulky and it, it stops any access to any any of the bits behind there, basically. It sticks right out here. It's, it's pretty big once it's on there. Um, if you've got one, you would know. And that is the main reason I see most people remove it. Um, but we're going to remove it because we don't want those water lines there. They're messy, they leak, they're pretty dangerous. And it, it doesn't do a real good job, in my opinion, of cooling the oil anyway. If you're after some performance oil cooling, you obviously could put a sandwich plate in there um, and run an external oil cooler like that out the front. Simple problem, simple solution. We're gonna replace all this with just this. Now, it probably looks like a tube with some thread on it. That's because it is. It is um, three quarter 16, or three quarter by 16 it's sometimes called. That's the thread. It's the same on both ends. And that's going to allow us to just fit a factory oil filter straight to the block. It'll seal just like this used to seal to the block, but without any of this. Now, most people will probably advise some Loctite. I'd do the same. This, yeah, if this came off, you know you might have some issues. A bit vibrated loose, um, engine damage, oil loss, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, let's get it on. Check it out. So I did say simple problems, simple solutions. I don't have the aircon pump on this, so it's even easier than it would be normally. Now, uh, have our thread lock on there. Once we've cleaned out the block, make sure there's nothing in the threads, nothing in the oil cavity there. Thread it in by hand as much as we can. Also ensures that it's nice and smooth and there's nothing stuck in there. It's gonna damage the thread or the block. So we're gonna get that as tight as we can by hand. Now, you can tighten this any way you like. I personally just do it with an oil filter. Sometimes I'll use an old oil filter and just crank it up really tight. Um, that way you're not gonna damage the block or the, or the um, pipe itself. But some OEMs have a drive in here, I've seen. So you can put a, you know, usually a hex drive so you can tighten it up. Um, but yeah, I'll just, I'll just use an oil filter. You could lock two nuts together. You could use vice grips, I guess, if you're into the risky sort of stuff and worried about it coming out. But I've used the oil filter before that way and haven't had any issues. So that's that. It is that simple. Crank that up with an oil filter. Fit your oil filter of choice. And away you go. And that's basically it. Oil cooler delete on the 1JZ and even the 2JZ. Alright, that's going to wrap up that video. Easy one. Simple problem, simple solution. Um, like the video. I mean, if you liked it. If you didn't, don't like it. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. And comment below if you've had any ideas, something to help people out, it's all about, catch you in the next one.